Until lions tell their tale, the story of the hunt will always glorify the hunter. And that's what the multi-award winning film 500 Years Later tries to do when it asks why people of African descent globally are plagued by crime, poor education, poverty, self-hatred and broken homes. The director of 500 Years Later, Owen Alik Shahada, is in the studio and in the country. He joins us this morning. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Owen, what inspired this film? Well, as the proverb says, until us African people tell our story, it would always be told from the perspective of the other. Mm -hmm. And traditionally, when we look at the history of slavery, we've always heard about it from the European perspective of what went on in slavery. Mm -hmm. So it was critical for the next generation to understand our story with our voice and our painful journey mm. to the new world. So this film is uh, very unique in the ability to capture that journey and not only the history of slavery but more importantly the legacy of slavery. Now what was the thinking uh, in, in producing this film in the form of testimonies, uh, of voices, opinions uh, over five continents and in 20 countries? Yes. Well, you know, the African diaspora and the African people on the African continent, mm. that, that is just one, you know, we're kind of like one family. And the journey had to look at a very complete version of Africa. It can't just be African Americans, because you know, traditionally, when you hear about slavery, you hear about roots, you picture African Americans, but they're not the only people that went through this um, process. People in South Africa, I just recently found out, were, were enslaved, mm -hmm. you know, and, and people in Brazil, the African Br Brazilian population, large numbers of these people. So we need to be inclusive when we talk about these topics. And 500 years later, had to have a comprehensive look at the entire African continent and the entire African diaspora. Mm. Now Owen, what is the answer to the question, uh, why are African uh, or people of African descent uh, the world over plagued by these negativities, broken homes, mm. crime, mm. Uh, uh, violence, and, and etc.? Well, hatred uh, you know, the le you see, what, what happened is someone told us a long time ago that, oh, slavery is in the past, you need to forget about it. But what we must remember, the legacy of slavery has never stopped. Even in South Africa, we see the, 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 the same situation going on where who's at the bottom, who's at the top. Mm. And this is a crisis that we have to address by looking at history. What happened to us as a people through that mm. terrible journey and how are we going to repair it? We must re reclaim our identity, our culture, our history and a true understanding of self because we keep inheriting the disadvantage that our ancestors went through and it has never been addressed and that's why you still see it perpetuated throughout the world in every place where we occupy we are the bottom of the society we're the maids the cleaners mm. the, or the soldiers even mm. in countries which we are the majority mm. you know because isn't that ironic I find it sad, <laughs> personally, <laughs> but it's... More than anything. Because, you know, African-Americans have a case, because Afri America is, you know, obviously they're not the majority. Mm. But then you come to the continent, and with the exception of places like Ethiopia, mm. it's always the case. Yeah. Okay, well, you have a sequel uh, to this film coming up uh, that's called The Motherland, uh, which was partly shot in South Africa. Ooh, now, yes. speak to me a little bit about this uh, film and how it's different to 500 years later? Well, it's kind of, it's a continuation. Mm. You mean, in, in the African sense of a continuation, it's not a sequel in the Hollywood sense. Mm. You mean, we've got Jacob Zuma, we've got Mela Zanawi, you know, we've got all kinds of people from around the continent. And this film captures the early history of Africa. And when I say the early history, I'm talking about the dawn of man when we exited Africa and populated the rest of the world. It talks about the glory of Kemet, ancient Egypt. Monomotapa, Sokoto, Songhai, you know, it reminds us of who we were when we were the we, civilization started in Africa. Mm. And it takes us on the long epic journey to when we, you know, unfortunately got into colonialism and into the current situation. So it's a very long and breathtaking look, but it's a very dignity reaffirming look at Africa, not in yeah. the negative BBC style, yes. but in a very positive, uplifting. This is told who we from a man of African descent. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you so much. I look forward to seeing the film. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Caribbean Owen uh, Alik Shahada, director of the multi award winning documentary 500 Years Later, who's uh, also busy making a, a sequel to that um, uh, entitled The Motherland. Look out for that. And after the break, we have just uh, about 10 minutes left of Weekend Live, so don't miss that. Back after the break. <laughs>